Well, it is Saturday, August 24th, and I am at Kioshkakwi Lake in Algonquin Park. Uh, it's at the northern end of Algonquin, and uh, I'm here with my kayak today. I have not been out my kayak all season, um, so I thought it would be nice to do, I'm just doing a one night trip tonight, um, staying here overnight, spending the day today and tomorrow, and mm -hmm. um, kayaking into a site just on kayaks, doing some exploring, and uh, I'm gonna do some fishing, so super excited. All right, I just went to visit with Carmen, um, who does the permits here, got my permit, and uh, unloaded my car really quick. Um, I actually got the very first parking spot, it was open, so totally lucky. And um, I'm all loaded up, and I'm on the water, so I'm gonna go hunt for a site. Hopefully I find something spectacular and nice and quiet, and um, we'll see how that goes. Off I go. Well, I've located a most beautiful site on Kiosk, Kiosk, Kioskokwi Lake <laughs> in Algonquin. Um, I picked it especially because of this little bay. I'm hoping to see some wildlife, maybe a moose. I haven't seen too many of those this year. Uh, down there I've got my boat, my beautiful kayak, and uh, I'm right on a little point too, so I think I should be able to get the sunrise and the sunset. I've got my hammock strung up here, and uh, got a beautiful view from here. Up here, I can see out into the lake, and I can also see into the bay. So I can just lay here in the afternoon and read, or evening, and hopefully see a moose saunter out, <laughs> which would be amazing. Um, and then over here. I have my tent set up on a beautiful flat spot, just on the second floor. <laughs> and then over here is the fire pit. Uh, I was surprised at the difference between uh, here in Tomogamy. Every campsite I've ever, I think, ever gone on to in Tomogamy has always got some firewood. And this has, well, this, which is just kind of like, I guess it's still firewood, but... <laughs> Not Which a I haven't stick been able to bring on any trips in kindling a, or anything, a long but time. there's a beautiful grill set up here. So that's nice. Got my chair set up, all my cooking things there, and my uh, bear vault. And that's about it. So I'm going to kick back and relax and enjoy the view. A couple of really nice spots to get into the water, too. Um, I don't know if I'll go this side because the sun's on the other side, but there's just like some little pebbles and stuff, so I can just kind of walk out and then it just goes deep, like pretty quick. Or, I'm just filling up my uh, water filter. I noticed this lovely little spot here. This nice little pathway. I can also put my chair here if I want to sit in the sun. And there's a nice little, same thing some little tiny rocks and then it goes deep really quickly. Now if I want to be adventurous, I could jump off of this, <laughs> which I'm sure lots of people do, because it's pretty deep down there. And there's a bunch of little spots, little ledges where I could just jump into the water. Oh my gosh, I see fish. Oh, I see tons of big fish down there. Right down there. Oh yeah. Guess who's fishing right now from here. I want fish for dinner. I got a hamburger, but I could sacrifice it. Oh, look at them all. They're good size too. I don't know if you can see them.
that was the coolest thing ever. I'm lying here in my hammock. It is so nice out. The sun's back there. Just a little sunshine, not too much, so don't get too hot. And uh, I've got this gorgeous view of uh, Kiosk Lake. And I'm sitting here reading my book. And it's really good. And uh, it's super, super quiet. Um, a speedboat just went by a little while ago. Every once in a while a speedboat goes by and the people are talking. And I don't think they realize that you can hear every word they say. Like, anyway. Um, but I'm sitting here and all of a sudden I hear this big loud boom coming from over there. Like where the swampy area is. And a tree fell. And it made the loudest sounds the cracking and the thud when it hit the ground and um, yeah it was really really cool so if a tree falls in the forest I do hear it <laughs> I'm gonna go back to reading my book I'm so comfy cozy and uh, it's just gorgeous out here perfect August day It is quarter after six and I am very hungry. I had a chicken wrap for lunch. It was really good. Um, but it didn't last apparently. <laughs> so um, what I brought for dinner today, I just grabbed a hamburger out of the freezer. Um, I make my own homemade hamburgers and uh, I have a video on that that you can see on my camper Christina Cooks. Um, but this is one of those. So um, I just basically threw it in the bag with an ice pack and I just threw it on the grill. I've got a nice uh, fresh Kaiser from Foodland and I'm just toasting that. Ooh, that looks good. And uh, I'm gonna put some cheese on the bun with some butter. Um, I also have a packet of mayonnaise and uh, I forgot my tomatoes so. <laughs> I do have some salsa. I'm kind of toying with the idea of putting that on there. Um, but I think just the hamburger with the mayo and the cheese should be tasty enough. It's quite beautiful out. It's still sunny and gorgeous. And uh, this is my view while I'm camping here on Kiosk Lake. Alright, I put a little butter and some garlic powder on my um, bottom half bottom half of the bun um, and then I put the cheese on it now I was gonna melt the cheese right on the hamburger but it's not in the best shape it kind of cracked on the one side and so I don't really want to lose all the cheese and have it melt off the hamburger is done by the way it cooked really really fast um, and then I have the top bun with just some mayonnaise on it that I brought in like a small packet so I'm gonna put that all together and eat I cannot wait it looks so good all right, there's my beautiful hamburger, all nice and cooked, and uh, does look kind of plain. I'm gonna try it and see how it tastes. I do put quite a bit of uh, nice seasoning in my hamburger, so it might be good just as it is. If not, maybe I'll put a little bit of the salsa on it that I have for my breakfast wrap tomorrow. I love tomato on my hamburger, so I think it would be pretty similar. Well, it's just after 7.30 and it's still really nice out. I was laying in my hammock reading and I had said, okay, around 7.30 I'm going to jump in the kayak and do some fishing and then I can catch some sunrise pictures while I'm out. And uh, I've got this kind of like a little bay in behind my campsite and I am dying to know it's back here. 
because I can't see it from my sight. And uh, this is also where the tree fell back here somewhere. I mean, it's probably in the forest. I can't see it, but I just thought I would come by and kind of see what's back here because, you know, I want to know. <laughs> I love to explore. That's part of why I go camping so much. And, um, you know, I love being out in new places and exploring. And uh, I love to know what's, what's around the corner. Wow, there's like so much stuff back here. There's all these cliffs and rocks and trees. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Trees are just growing out of the rock wall. I bet you this is going to be some good fishing. All right, so my friend Sean, um, from the Paddling Adventures radio show, he um, took his wife Tracy out camping while they went out together um, a couple weekends ago, and um, she caught a beautiful speckled trout. So I said, Sean, I need to try to aim for a fish. How do I catch a speckled trout? So he said to um, use a spoon. I think he said a Williams, but I don't have one of those. Um, and put some weight about a foot or so up the line. I hope I remembered that correctly. Sorry if I didn't, Sean. So I put a couple little weights there. I have got a uh, lure that looks like the one that he showed me anyways, and I'm going to give it a go. The fish are jumping all around me. I've always heard that if fish jump, they're not biting, but somebody who I know fishes a lot told me that isn't necessarily true. So it is almost sunset, so I'm going to give it a go. It's really pretty out here. I love this rock. Maybe these birch trees growing out of it. That's so cool. Okay, so I also think that Sean said that they were trolling when they did this. And I can't really troll. So I'm going to paddle a bit and then like cast a few and pull it behind me and see if that's kind of comparable. I don't even know if there's that kind of trout in this lake, so. But I'm having fun trying. Well, the sun is starting to go down as I'm out here on the water fishing. And uh, I'll keep checking back to see how it's progressing. And let you know how I'm progressing. <laughs> I'm gonna try to catch a fish. I'm most likely not gonna keep it, but I just wanna catch it. And if there's a view of my campsite from the water, super cool. Sun is sinking. Actually, the sun looks like it's just about sunk. And I didn't have any luck in that bay. I discovered uh, that it's super shallow. So I'm going to try beside the uh, cliff where I was fishing earlier because I did see a lot of fish there. So I might as well give it a shot. Well, I wasn't having any luck with that other lure, so uh, I went back to my maps and I caught a fish. It's just a tiny one, not keeping it anyway, but uh, I believe it's a bass. Oh crap. I just had another one and he jumped off just before I could get him up. I don't think he was big, but he was bigger than the other one, but still not big. But that's okay. I don't like taking them off the hook anyway. I feel like I'm hurting them. I don't like that part. <laughs> That's why I like to eat them, because then I'm like, well, at least I'm hurting you, and then I'm going to kill you, and then I'm going to eat you, but if I don't do that, then I don't see the point of hurting them. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. It's another wee little guy. Looks like the same kind. It's got spots. I think it's another pass. Well, the sun is down, and the sky is looking quite pretty out here on Kayask Lake in Algonquin. Beautiful sunset right across from my campsite. Except I'm not there, I'm out here catching fish. <laughs> and I'm not just fishing, I'm catching fish. I caught two fish 
and three fish and almost had a fourth. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go in soon though. The temperature dropped insanely when the sun went away. Very cold. It's just one of those sunsets that just keeps getting prettier and prettier. Kids screaming, not included. Oh my gosh. They just keep getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> Look it up. Well, someone's breaking into my food barrel. Look at this guy. <laughs> I see you, buddy. Trying to make off with my Snickers. Now you're trapped, eh? <laughs> Let me help you. Here you go. You go ahead. You can go this way. Okay. How about I turn off the light and you won't like that, eh? about uh, 11 o'clock on Saturday night and uh, I'm in my tent. I'm all ready for bed. Um, I had a nice little fire. It was actually longer than I thought it was going to be. And um, yeah, it was a good day. Caught a bunch of fish. I think I caught four fish. I want to say four and a half because when I got almost to the boat, just as I was about to pull him up, he'd spit, his, spit the lure out and, and jump. So I know it doesn't really count, but I'm still saying four and a half because my luck has been really bad. I think all of them were bass. Um, I have to check. I have a little piece of paper with the pictures on it in case I don't have a signal, which I don't, um, so I could look it up. But it's in my fish kit, which is down in my boat. So um, I'll have to take a look uh, tomorrow. Um, it was a really good day. I didn't do a whole lot. I went fishing and I laid in my hammock and read my book. I got quite a bit of reading done. And um, the point again was to come out and just do some relaxing. Um, but that's it for now. I'm going to head to bed. I'm super tired. And I will see you in the morning. Good night. It's about 6.30 and it's super misty out and uh, I'm going to just paddle down in this bay that I'm on and see if I can possibly find a moose. There's something big moving in the bushes over there. I can hear it. I can't see anything. Maybe one's coming out. I'm gonna sit here and wait for a bit. It's hard to see with the fog. There's, it's really thick in this corner. Can't see it on the camera, but it's really thick. There you go. Uh -huh. It's kind of what it looks like for me. So no moose here either. There's definitely something walking in there. Breaking branches and stuff. And I'm just sitting here fishing and I got a couple bites, but I'm still hearing the cracking in the forest. And I just heard a moose call pretty sure it was a moose call, but it sounded like it came from the other side of this big ridge. Looks like there's another lake back there.
Well, whatever it was that was making noise in there has stopped making noise. I keep waiting, I'm like, something's gonna stick its head out any minute. But nothing does. The sun is up and with the fog, it's just magnified into a big, huge round ball. It's pretty cool looking. It also feels pretty good because it's kind of chilly out here. Mist is still rising, look crazy. Oh, and a fish is jumping right in front of me just to be fun. Oh, there's a beaver out here and he is mad that I am here. <laughs> just stomped his tail twice now. The first time I wasn't sure, I didn't see anything. But I just saw his head sticking out and when I went to film him, he tromped the water again. So I might get one more showing. Hello, Mr. Beaver. Just waiting for a moose, but you'll do. You can slap your tail at me. There he goes. <laughs> That's cool. Do it again. That was awesome. Well, it's uh, almost 8 o'clock. I've been out here for almost an hour and a half and uh, my hands are freezing. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty chilly out. I just got back into the sun, but I've been sitting in the bay the whole time there in the shade um, waiting to see if this whatever creature that was making this crackling sounds would emerge, but it did not. Uh, instead, I got a beautiful showing from a beaver who slapped his tail right in front of me on camera, uh, which I've never seen before. Um, I've always heard it and just kind of caught the uh, tail end of it. <laughs> the tail end of it that's funny um, but I actually this time saw it and filmed it and that was really awesome um, it's a little bit hard to see because of the fog but basically the entire beaver's body was like an arc and then he just slaps like it was really really neat to see that and uh, and I got it on film so I'm super happy about that hopefully it it looks pretty good um, and uh, I'm gonna make my way back to camp now. It's just like right there <laughs> and uh, make some breakfast. I'm starving. So off we go. All right, I uh, just boiled some water really quickly uh, for some hot chocolate. So I've got that sitting there cooling, and uh, this morning I'm making a breakfast wrap. I have two sausages, breakfast sausages, which are already cooked. I just need to heat them up. And then I've got two eggs here that I've just scrambled. I'm going to cook those in the frying pan. I've got some salsa here and a little bit of two-year-old cheddar. And I'm going to put that in the wrap, and then uh, breakfast will be done. I'm just sitting here. I moved move my chair so I can sit in the sunshine and cook and uh, one of the uh, great features of this campsite is I think you can pretty much get sun on it any time of the day because there's so many different uh, areas of it and, like it's on a point so it's pretty great <laughs> Much 
scrambled enough to put the salsa in. all in it didn't bring very much so done breakfast. Well, it is 9.30 on Sunday morning and I'm all packed up to go. <laughs> I got up this morning and I was fishing and I was watching the beaver and then I was having breakfast and I'm like, oh, I'm going to lay in my hammock and I'm going to read for a couple hours and just have a leisurely morning, but I'm just not really good at relaxing. I'm like, okay, well, I can jump in the car and then I could get home and I could work on a bunch of videos still today and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I just slowly started packing up and here I am. So I'm going to head uh, to the takeout. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty busy. Um, either people coming or going, that's why I want to go early. Um, it's a pretty busy area, even though I've got that first parking spot. Um, I just kind of want to pull in and throw my stuff in the car, put the boat on and get out of here. So um, I will do my best to do that. I may or may not do another video. Um, if not, I had a great time. It was just a short trip, but it was still awesome. Caught a bunch of fish yesterday, which uh, you know brought my ego back up a little bit because I haven't been catching fish at all lately. And um, relaxed a little bit. Got to read another good chunk of my book and um, got to explore a new campsite in a new area. So uh, all in all, it was uh, a good time, and um, I'm really happy that I came. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Nice and quiet out this morning. I have uh, mirror-like conditions on the paddle. And uh, I only see one other canoe out on the water right now. I'm sure there are other boats out. I just, it's a big lake, you can't see them all. I paddled that little stretch pretty fast. It was perfect conditions, no wind at all. Almost mirror, so I've even got almost mirror out here. It's amazing. <laughs> 